Tapi was completely opposite of Bacolod. Tapi was in the mountains first off, so Bacolod is sea level. Uh, Tapi is up in the mountains. It's pretty far away from. There's no grocery store really. Um, so like as far as shopping, always at the market. Um, sometimes we we would go into Cabanca land for shopping. But that would be like an hour and a half maybe on on a on a bus it's called Cibro which is like it's, it's not a jeepney but it's just a it's just a smaller bus going to Cabancalan they they did have they did have grocery stores there so sometimes we'd go into Cabancalan but um in Tapi um our house was our house wasn't bad it was it wasn't as nice as one in Bacolod. It was concrete floors, just like cement. So sweeping was not that bad. <laughs> it's just cement. Our water was for bathing was rainwater. Like it just collected into a big drum, and that's what we used to bathe. Uh, our kitchen was outdoors, so we were outside all the time cooking. We just had like like a mesh screen around it to keep mosquitoes out like and our walls were bamboo not bad yeah like cinder blocks up to about this high up to about your just above your waist and then bamboo with screen around it to keep mosquitoes out and plywood so that was that was our house we had a tin roof so if it rained you'd wake up <laughs> it's pretty loud which is also awkward during like lessons like you'll be teaching and it just rains spontaneously there it'll start raining and you just sit there wait for it to stop because you can't you're just yelling trying to talk almost always um you had your own apartment you didn't share it with other elders in our mission our, our mission president wanted each companionship to have their own apartment so there's there were there were some apartments where they shared but it wasn't common. Common industries in Tapia is um, ag just agricultural. Uh, lots, lots of people work in sugar sugar fields. Um, lots of people just like just any kind of like lots of rice, rice fields, which they they grow for themselves. Like they just subsist off of what they produce, and then they sell whatever's left over. Um, so th that was common. Rice fields, sugar cane, um, and then there was like some smaller agricultural products like mangoes, just some fruits, things like that. Um, and Tapi, not as much seafood because it is in the mountains. So like any seafood there is more expensive because it's brought in. Um, so mo more like veg lots of vegetables, um, chicken. Um, things like that. It is more secluded so far as far as safety um, you just have to be prepared like if something happens it's zero you're it's gonna be hard to get to a hospital so you have to be prepared in that in that ways in that way. One other thing I remembered about transportation is sometimes we were allowed to use what's called hubba hubba which is just a motorcycle with an extended back and you just get on the motorcycle and it's the only way to get to some really secluded areas like you know, tricycles. So there was a difference in transportation and that tends to be more expensive actually too. Um, just cause, especially if it's late, like it was, it was really hard to travel late at night just because it's not safe and if you do get someone that's going to be be running routes at that time, they're going to charge a much higher price, just because of safety and it's late. They do have a, an actual church in Tapi, uh, which was which was a, which was nice. It was a nice chapel. It's, it's small. I can't I can't remember like an actual population size, but it's small. There are more stray dogs there in Tapi. Um, wildlife lots of lots of different kind, kinds of animals there's 
like these they've got big spiders so if you don't like spiders that's too bad they've got spiders like this big they're they're harmless though they, they don't they won't hurt you i saw some interesting birds there like i someone told me that they were like endangered actually so there are some interesting like birds they've got what's called um tuco which are these big lizards um they're scared of them because they bite <laughs> Um, they've got tiny lizards, which are like just these tiny little geckos, they're called tiki. And then lots of carabao, which I guess we, we, we would call them like domesticated water buffalo. And everyone, everyone uses carabao. To, they use them for, for plowing, they use them for uh, tra like transportation sometimes, not, not super common, but lots of people have carabao if they're working in fields. I also think it's the national animal of the Philippines, so you'll see lots of lots of water buffalo. They're everywhere.